right now um, I'm going to rank the bear on five guns so just don't bother reading all that just look at the ending or I guess my ranting about them all right starting with the AK5C this goes straight to meta because it is a low recoil gun it has no RPM I believe but it still makes up with it because you can aim your shots without being blinded by the gas AK-74 great however there are better ones so yeah you can just use that or you can use the other weapons still though it's not exactly a meta or it is not a bad gun next up we got the AK-103 AK-103 is I think it's a meta gun because it is the best AK right now is it? yeah I think so too but it is a great gun with moderately high recoil moderately uh, bad-ish drop off if you aim down sights you can clearly see it is not very accurate you need to aim way lower than what you see in the iron sights so yeah I think it's a great gun AS wall AS wall the recoil nerf was shit because I liked this gun because it's funny on open world because nobody uses it on open world because of its lack of ammunition however it's costly and yeah it's just great for a gun oh game on so this gun is a great gun however I don't think it's a meta because of its sights and grip I believe okay so talking about our cousins here comes the OG3 it's the meta it's for the one uh, mag capacity with the uh, bigger mag but if you can customize the sight you can customize the barrel length you can customize the grip and it's surprisingly good at range it's like a DMR but full auto I like it so this is the weird part because this gun is better than the M16s or M4s I like it I never used it but I think looking at the stats it looks godly like god tier so I think it's a meta don't you there it goes FAMAS FAMAS is like the M4s except that's a it's better in every way, it's better in any way, it's got low recoil, I believe, if I remember stats correctly, however, it should pull us faster, it's like pacing against P90, which is a legendary tier gun, so it's good before devs nerf it. G36, a gun's a gun, I do not care how many people worship this gun it's not ideal it just looks cool all right i know hector and cloth make a good weapon but stop okay just use different guns now and then this gun has the same recoil as m4 so you don't have to just worship the sight the sights of this gun or other attachments because it's still the same gun l85a2 this gun Oh, 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 this gun. Yikes. This gun is a gun to gun. That's all I'm saying. There's not much you can do about this gun. It's a weird looking British gun. <laughs> well, next is M16A2. I don't love this gun. However, it's not a meta. So, I think it's a great gun. With three round bursts, uh, a low recoil if you control your aim right and then it's good at uh, range with its sights so at close range too it's got the uh, famous 40 round mag I missed the uh, 400 round drone mags so yeah it is what it is M16A4 you know what I'm gonna rank the uh, best of guns here can I? yeah I can 
Okay, for now it'll be like this. Now, Groza. Groza, Groza, Groza. Probably don't use this gun. Preferably. If you are sweat with it, okay, good for you, I guess. Scar L. Scar L is a gun that's good, but bad. It's got slow RPM. It's got okay mag capacity. Its sights are okay. I guess if you buy the sights attachment, mm, I'm confused on where to put it, but it's a great gun, I guess, or a gun. Yeah, it does its job moderately well. It looks cool, it sounds cool, but that's all. Functionally, it's no different than the G G36, uh, except it's slower and cooler. NK74, um, now. This is on the same tier as Groza. However, as you noticed, the buff on the damage. A gun's a gun. But for its sides, I'd say it's pretty bad. Unless you buy a real attachment with this, which is uh, anticlimactic, but it's your choice. M4A1. This gun. This gun. This gun is a. I believe it is a metal, but I'm not so sure about it, but it is a high RPM gun, however it cannot match with FAMAS. It is good at aiming down sights and spring. This gun is still better. However, it shoots and it's functioning. So, Mark 18, Mark 18, Mark 18, I love this gun. It looks so cool when you customize it, however, it looks so bland without customizing it. So, where would I put it? If I were to place it here, it would replace M4. But, if I were to place it here, it will have to replace half of the list. Believe me or not, marketing uh, fans will get mad at me. So, it shows faster than M4, carries the same round. HK416, yeah, yeah, where is it, where should I put it, here, HK416 is good gun, it can use good 30 round mags, and it's got a lot of barrel attachments for some reason, I don't know why, but it's a good gun, I'd say it's meta, SG553, it looks cool, it sounds cool, it feels cool. It doesn't work out. It just doesn't. If you sweat with it, you'll get some kills, but preferably don't use this. SR3M. It's like AS well, but budget. <laughs> so, it's going to replace as AS well. FM4. Now, this gun is a confusing gun because there are like two battle rifles which are confusing one's good seconds good like what can i say both are good so which one is better well you know what i mean this one on the battle rifles category it is good so is this gun but i believe uh, this uh, this is a great gun but it's not a meta compared to the FM fall. Next is MP5. <laughs> a gun second. Low damage, uh, high RPM, 30 round mags, low recoil. It depends on the sweater. If you sweat with it a lot, you can master it. If you don't, you will probably struggle or switch to some of these guns right here. MP7. Um, it's got here. It just shoots out and shoots balls so fast and carries so much rounds. You cannot count them. It's a beamer. That's all I'm saying. It's so good. Beamer and meta. It is a fairly balanced gun with its uh, sights, you know, but I truly believe it is limited by its range. 
in PvP though it is God tier, but it is not a meta. Meta means like in both open world and both uh, PvP. So this has fairly limited range. I mean like it deals more damage than the steel and sniper rifle but preferably don't use it. If your aim is good and you like tapping headshots, it is good. Yeah, pick this one. It carries a lot of rounds, you cannot customize the group. However, it's not preferable in open world. UMP 45, you can convert this to an assault rifle or a carbine in this case. So, it is a great gun. Use S12. Now, this is dangerous territory because I know this gun is fairly good, but there are some people that worship it and some swear to destroy it. Like, for no reason at all. It's just a gun. A gun is a gun. Yeah. Now, this, this shotgun is way worse than AA12, but it shoots fat further. Still, it's slower. Is it? I think both are statically the same. M100 and 10. Hmm. It is a good DMR at range. Uh, yeah, it is good. It is meta, I don't know. The other DMRs are fairly limited by their DMR ammunition. However, I think it's fairly good with training. I believe so. I didn't check out my videos. OTS! Yay, this gun! I love this gun. Before every tongue had uh, one tap on the head feature, this was a headshot killer. It was like a machine. Like, you hold it down to your waist like a fucking machine gun and you bang, bang, bang. You kill everything on sight if you had good aim or you believed it hits rig, which failed you. So, uh, still though, on open world, it is better than M1, M110. SVDS, they call me heavily modified AK gun. You can just shoot, one tap these guys before they can attack you. So, it is fairly up there. AVP. This gun is uh, overmatched, undermatched. Yeah, this gun is meta. It is got you, man. This gun is the reason why other snipers don't get used as much. Because of its damage. And uh, I will put it here. However, it's, it is a gun made for pros. So, it is preferably don't use. Because... Due to its lack of torso uh, damage, and it's, I think it's, per, it's not bad, it's not good, you just don't use it. M2010, everyone will remember this gun as a good gun, however I don't, I just used rifles as snipers, because of, uh, I was broke. It's not because I was, I'm so pro, I don't need sniper rifles, I can snipe with a rifle. It's not that, I just. I was just broke back in the day. Yeah, I didn't grind much. I was just on operations, drop playing for range. I remember it is just a gun that was done fairly bad in the past. The devs nerfed it, I heard. Still though, it's a decent gun. A gun is a gun. Ultimus ratio, this gun. So I'd say it's a good sniper rifle. However, with that twist, it carries so much ammo, so much ammo. So I believe it's a meta sniper rifle after the uh, SVDS. No, 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 before the SVDS, because it is a bolt action rifle. What am I saying? The 50 cal anti-material rifle, the destroyer of headshots. Also with torso shots. It's a cannon. What do you expect? It's a cannon. Deagle. You will be remembered. It's it had one tap on the headshots, but all pistols were like that for a bit, so it got nerfed to oblivion with the rest of the guns. G17 for starters, it is a okay gun. However, 
not good in the range HP. This gun is the meta of the pistols. It can carry 30 rounds and it can have a long rifle. 30 round mag, some long barreled gun that's a pistol with a stock. This gun actually has a stock which makes it qualified to be king of the pistols in the Biron 5 game. However, it is moderately uh, shamed by its damage. The M9, we love this, how this gun looks. They love the Italian. They love the pizza. However, I do not care. So, this is going to the probably about you section. I don't like the sights. I don't like the gun. I don't like. It's cool for stealth mechanics, however. 30 rounds. No. M17. M17 is a good gun. I think it does better than the Glock. A micro PM. I don't think it deserves anything. So last one, this sweaty bastard. I have to admit that this gun has a stock. It has 30 round mag, but this gun's a photo. So yeah. Yeah, you cannot match it. The melees. Yeah, and they all deserve this ratio. The M67 grenade. This grenade has killed a lot of hostages in the past. So it is infamous for exploding barrels and hostages. Or just execution. Uh, I do not want to talk about that. However, it is not a gun. It is not a cannon. So what? where does it go? Ooh, rocket propelled grenade. It stands for rocket propelled grenade. So, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna read the fucking uh, machine guns because you already know. This is the top. This is second. Because, yeah, it's expensive. This is, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, this is the better. Well, that's all. And I'm gonna make everything the better in the thumbnail. See ya! Okay, okay. So, settle down. I remade the list. I downloaded some items. So, I think it's still fairly unbalanced, but I can't tell my friend's opinion on it. He's just not responding, so I'm gonna have to quickly edit this episode of tier making, and yeah, there will be more when the update comes. Yeah, uh, see ya, I guess.